This is Omachi, a brand new Arch Linux remix that's shaking up the Linux world right now. Created by David Heinemeyer Hansen, the mind behind Ruby on Rails, Omachi is not just another Arch based distro. It's a beautiful keyboard driven advanced Linux distro that is actually solving some of the biggest problems of Arch Linux. It's so good, people are flocking to it in droves. And with the recent release of Omachi 2.0, this has leveled up to an insane level. Omachi gives you a pre-riced, pre-configured Hyperland setup with 11 different looks and this is one of the most complete advanced distros I have used. Omachi takes the chef's choice approach, pre-mapped hotkeys baked in ChatGPT, a curated tool stack and a philosophy that says stop tinkering, start shipping. I've been playing around with this distro for some time now and there is one special thing about Omachi that has blown my mind. The speed of me actually getting some work done has shot up. This is a productivity focused distro. There are many fantastic features here. Let's jump right in. Omachi. It's a super opinionated Arch Linux setup with a beautiful Hyperland setup at its core and it's turning heads everywhere. Created by David Heinemeyer Hansen, the creator of Ruby on Rails at 37 Signals, the software company behind big software like Basecamp. Omachi takes Arch and transforms it into a fully loaded keyboard driven development powerhouse. With the release of Omachi 2.0, this has turned into a full-blown Linux distro with its own repositories, fast install and all the bells and whistles. What sets it apart? It's not your typical Arch-based distro where you build everything from the ground up. The whole philosophy here is the chef's choice. You had a completely curated experience with a full suite of developer tools, custom keyboard shortcuts, 11 themes, mandatory disk encryption from the get-go. The creator of this distro has made all the decisions for you. This is definitely a controversial thing that goes against the archway. But for a developer or anybody who wants to skip the tinkering and get straight to work on a gorgeous, insanely powerful system, Omachi is a total game changer. Let's jump into the user interface section. Omachi is built from the ground up with laser focus on aesthetics and it's paired with the Hyperland Tiling Window Manager. Omachi's creator sees the modern Linux desktop as shockingly more polished, capable and beautiful. The whole idea is that a gorgeous system motivates you and that motivation leads to productivity. I can get behind that. The entire graphical environment is built exclusively around Hyperland, a dynamic tiling window manager for Wayland. And let me tell you, Hyperland was chosen for a reason. It's modern, rich with stick animations and has some seriously powerful customization chops. Now Hyperland on other distros is basically bare bones. You have to set it up, configure it and that requires a PhD in itself. But Omachi gives you a complete and polished set of configuration out of the box. Hyperland is not a full-blown desktop environment like GNOME where we have multiple floating applications. No, Hyperland is a dynamic tiling window manager that tiles windows automatically and also gives you extreme flexibility in what you can do with it. This is a completely different paradigm of working on your computer. And just like Arch Linux, Hyperland also requires that you install and configure each and every part of it. You know things like a panel or status bar, you need to install manually on Hyperland. But Omachi takes care of it all for you. We are talking the status bar, the application launcher, screen locking, power management. This is basically a ready-made path into the glorious world of Linux rising. And if you don't like the default look and feel, Omachi ships with 11 beautiful themes and switching between them is easy. You just hit Ctrl plus Super plus Shift plus Space to cycle between these themes. Yeah, we got a keyboard shortcut to change themes. If this isn't keyboard driven, I don't know what is. And it's not just the wallpapers that's changing. Each theme styles multiple desktop components for a completely cohesive look. Your desktop, your terminal, notifications, the taskbar, the app launcher, and even the lock screen all get the same beautiful theme treatment. Even the browser here changes theme. After playing around with this for a day, I felt that Omachi's visual design is a massive selling point. And let's talk about Hyperland itself. I don't think there's a better way to jump into Hyperland for the first time user than this. Hyperland can be very challenging for a new user. And if you add the installation and configuration burden on the user, I feel that Hyperland remains elusive. But by giving you stunning Hyperland setups pre-installed, I feel that Omachi is positioning itself as a killer option for developers and new Linux users who want a system that's ready to go, but also deeply personal. By the way, if you haven't already, Check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. 
you'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the V-Editor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Omachi's entire philosophy is built on the keyboard. As its creator DHH says, everything happens via the keyboard, everything. And this isn't just for show. It's designed to make your workflow unbelievably smooth and fast. It cuts out the mouse to crank your productivity to 11. Now you can suddenly start feeling the opinionatedness of Omachi, right? People coming from other operating systems are going to feel the change here, but people who are embracing it are going to feel how snappy the whole experience is. The magic behind this is, of course, Hyperland. It automatically organizes your windows and makes navigating between them with just key presses an absolute breeze. But Omachi takes it to the next level with a suite of pre-configured hotkeys right out of the box. You can launch your most used apps instantly, like the terminal with Super Plus Return or Super Plus Enter, or your browser with Super Plus B. Window management is just as intuitive. Use Super Plus arrow keys to move between windows, Super Plus Shift Plus arrow keys to swap them, and Super Plus W to close them. Give it a week or two and it will become second nature. The central hub for managing your system is the Omachi menu, which you can call up with Super Plus Alt Plus Space. On this keyboard driven menu, you can do everything from installing software to changing themes. Omachi's keyboard-centric approach is an absolute transformation. It's an efficient and incredibly fast way to use your computer. You just need to surrender yourself to the keyboard. Try this for a week and by the end of it, you'll never want to go back. Where did I keep my mouse? Omachi is built on Arch Linux and this brings some serious advantages to the table. First up, you get the rolling release model. You are constantly getting the newest of everything. The latest software, the newest kernels, the latest security patches. And this keeps your Omachi system absolutely fresh. Arch also provides the lightweight and minimal foundation that is needed to build Omachi. For me, in Arch Linux or any Arch-based distro, the Arch user repository or the AUR is a massive feature update. It gives you access to virtually any Linux software, irrespective of whether that software is packaged for Arch Linux or not. That breadth of software availability is inherited by Omachi here. But when I started using Omachi, the system felt very different. I didn't feel like I was using an Arch derivative like Manjaro or EndeavorOS. This was a very different experience because everything about the system is curated and you do things a certain way here. Okay, let's talk about what comes pre-installed in Omachi and we hit a lot here. This is a core part of the chef's choice philosophy of Omachi and one of the big reasons for what makes it opinionated. Unlike its parent Arch Linux, Omachi aims to give you a fully loaded computing environment that's productive from the very first boot up. Obviously, essentials like the Waybar, Taskbar, App Launcher, File Manager, Alacrity Terminal, and these things are all installed. But for developers, things like NeoVim, LazyVim, Git, and Docker are also installed and set up. One cool thing that I like here is that Omachi menu has one-click setups for Ruby on Rails, Node.js, Laravel, and a ton more. This is absolutely a phenomenal feature to have. And it's not just for coding. It's a complete daily driver with custom patched Chromium browser, 1Password integration, Obsidian for Notes, and the full LibreOffice suite installed here. One thing that I really like is, it has pre-configured web apps for ChatGPT, Signal, Email and more. And you can even call up ChatGPT with Super Plus A. How cool is that? You get Spotify for music streaming, there's Dropbox, there's also local send that lets you transfer files over your local network. That's cool. Things like WhatsApp, Figma, Google Messenger, Grok AI, they're all pre-installed here. They're actually web apps, but they open in a frameless window, so it makes the whole thing look very integrated and native. Now I feel that this everything included approach is a huge win for many people. But on the other hand, I can see how this goes against the minimalist arch philosophy. I mean, let's take Obsidian as an example here. I love it, I use it. But giving it as the default notes app for everybody, I don't know about that. But again, you are in full control. This is still Linux. You can remove anything that you don't want to see here and install anything else that you want. You get full control. And I have another angle here. If Omachi didn't preload all these applications and it came as bare bones and stripped down as the main Arch Linux, then wouldn't it just be Arch Linux? It's a different distro. It brings something new to the table and to do that, they had to add stuff, right? So opinionated, yes. But to make a new Arch based distro, you have to pre-install stuff. I mean, that's by definition, right? Installing Omachi is literally as simple as running this command. Yeah, that's it. Actually, Omachi has two installation methods. Up until now, you actually had to install a minimal Arch Linux system and then run this command to turn it into Omachi. But with the 2.0 release, that's all changed. 
we now get a full blown ISO installer just like Fedora or Ubuntu. I tried the ISO file, but as of now, it has very little flexibility. First, you cannot use it with secure boot enabled, you have to turn it off. Second, full disk encryption isn't optional, it's mandatory, and there is no partitioning. Yeah, no partitioning at all. You have to use the whole disk. That's not practical for most people. So as of right now, I think installing Arch and then running this command to convert it into Omachi is the better way for 95% of people. Yeah, I recommend this way. One thing that I really love about Omachi is the Omachi manual. It's an organized, super user-friendly manual for absolutely everything. And the biggest thing here is it's actually digestible within an hour. This really helps you get going with Omachi. Let's be real. A power system like Arch plus Hyperland can be intimidating. DHH, the creator of Omachi, keeps this constantly updated with everything from installation guides to hotkey lists. But we actually go a step beyond. Omachi smartly integrates the legendary Arch wiki and the Hyperland wiki right into its central menu. There you can get any information you need. It also has an active Discord community and people are helpful there as well. I think for a new distro, an advanced one at that, the documentation like this is a massive win. It significantly lowers the barrier to entry and for me, it just made Omachi less intimidating. I love this. There is a risk of system instability when running a rolling release distro, especially a brand new one at that. You run a system update, reboot and suddenly everything is on fire. So Omachi brings out its big gun, a feature that's absolutely a game changer. BTRFS snapshots. During installation, if you use the ISO file, it guides you to set up the BTRFS file system and for a very good reason. This thing is your get out of jail free card. Here's how it works. Say an update breaks your system. Instead of going into panic mode and spending hours searching online and trying the command line fix it, you just reboot. Right there in the grub boot menu, you see a list of your previous system snapshots. You just pick one from before and boot into it. And boom, your system is back to perfectly working state. It's that simple. This gives you that peace of mind, especially when you're trying out a new Linux distribution and a bleeding edge one at that. Just awesome. Omachi is a distro that has positioned itself in a very special way. And I think a lot of people don't actually understand it. It gives you this incredibly solid starting point on top of Arch Linux. The whole idea is you run a script on a minimal Arch install and with just a single command, you get a completely usable, workable system. Now on Arch Linux, even if you climb the mountain of installation, getting a workable system is a whole other project. I mean, you have to install the graphical user interface, install all your tools, configure the whole thing. Out of the box, Arch won't even give you an easy way to connect to Wi-Fi. But with Omachi, you are getting a beautifully configured Hyperland setup right out of the box. Not just the essential, but even additional utilities are installed, configured and ready to go. And things like the web apps here, they provide a really clean and better way to interact with tools such as ChatGPT. I actually prefer this over using ChatGPT on my browser in my Debian installation. One huge thing here is that Arch and Arch-based distros are expected to give the user a lot of flexibility and complete freedom. And you do get that with other distros like Manjaro or AdWords. And if you want that, I think you should go with them. Omachi is opinionated, yes, and it doesn't consider that a bad thing. With freedom and flexibility comes work that you need to do to set up a system and that's not always a good option for people who are new to Linux. For Linux intermediate users who want to try something more advanced than Ubuntu but are intimidated by the installation and configuration that comes with something like Arch Linux and even Hyperland Tiling Window Manager, Omachi just gets you going. It just makes that advanced Arch Linux plus Hyperland setup more accessible and I love it for that. The downloading for Omachi is given in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 hottest Linux apps that will supercharge your Linux experience and take it to the next level. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.